Ring, ring. Hi, this is Jimmy. Who's this? This is Harrison Ford. <laughs> oh, hi, Harrison. Thanks for calling in, buddy. Don't thank me yet. You don't know what I'm calling about. Okay, okay. what are you calling about? How the hell am I supposed to know? Because... <laughs> Hey, you made quite a splash at the Oscars with your rather off-kilter awards intro. I was trying to underscore the importance of film editing and how it, more than anything else, determines whether the movie itself works or not. I Okay, I see. So I read some old studio notes from early screenings of Blade Runner where they said it didn't make sense. Blade Runner is a movie I was in. Right, right, right. I have others. Would you like to hear them? Uh, uh, After seeing an early cut of The Fugitive, <laughs> one studio exec said this. Why does the main character change from the guy with the beard <laughs> to the other guy who doesn't have a beard? <laughs> and why is the guy without the beard running all the time? <laughs> that isn't explained. Okay. Okay. You see, the editor had accidentally cut out the scene where I shaved my beard off. Uh, <laughs> I got it. Okay. Someone at Paramount saw an early cut of uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark and said he was confused as to how Nazis had regained control of Germany. <laughs> that would have to be explained somehow in the movie. We fix that by adding 1936 on the screen in the very first scene. Movie magic. This is all very interesting. No, it's not. <laughs> After reviewing an early cut of Regarding Henry, uh. one studio exec was very confused. He didn't understand how an animal was the main character. <laughs> or how cartoons and humans could interact. Uh. Turns out he saw a cut of Who Framed Roger Rabbit by accident. <laughs> so he fixed that by showing him regarding Henry, but, you know, for real this time. Hey, Harrison, these stories beggar belief. No, they don't. Hey, how can people who make movies be so dense? Jimmy, this is Hollywood. <laughs> we are very stoned and confused all the time. How does anything get done in Hollywood if everybody's so hopped up on the goofballs? I have no idea, man. I show up terminally baked <laughs> and other absolutely charred people. Point where I need to stand and tell me what I need to say. And then they take all the film and give it to smart, sober women to edit it together into something that makes sense. That's pretty amazing, Harrison. Yeah. Then tragically hammered studio execs sit down with martinis. And watch what we've done and give notes that they think make sense. The only one of my films they didn't do that for was Hollywood Homicide. <laughs> they said, my God, this is perfect. <laughs> the perfect piece of art. <laughs> well, what are you working on next? Well, as you may have heard, I'm starting pre-production on the fifth Indiana Jones movie. I, I'm looking forward to the notes we're going to get on that. I bet you are. I bet. <laughs> There's going to be a fuck ton of notes. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes, there is. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Why did you make this? <laughs> Why is that thing so important? <laughs> it's going to be a fucking disaster. Anyway, I got to go. I, I got to get more stoned. Stoner. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program and get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video. <laughs>